my beautiful people, it's Yana, and I'm back today with yet another video. And today is gonna be yet another spooky one, so make sure to turn down your lights, grab a snack, and get ready to get spooked. Because we're taking a look at a video titled, There is Something Wrong with Her Roommate. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very curious to see what happens in this video. I'm sure it's gonna be yet another crazy one. If you're ready as well, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So for this episode, we received a report from a 19-year-old girl named Mariah. Now Mariah is upset because one night, her parents and all of their belongings just disappeared. And after this, a man appeared saying that he's her new roommate. Now when she tries asking her new roommate about her parents' disappearance, he just ignores her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Mariah's parents are just straight up missing? And now this random man is claiming to be her roommate out of nowhere? There's definitely something going on here and it can't be good and mariah says that recently her new roommate has been trying to get into her room at night so today we're gonna head out to mariah's house and try to figure out what's going on with this strange man let's go I feel like this is also another one of those situations where you should probably call 911 and say, hey, there's like a random man in my house claiming he lives here now after my parents just disappeared. Clearly something isn't adding up there. Mariah's brave to even have stayed in that house. Dude, how could her parents just disappear like that? Yeah, I don't even know who this guy in her house is. Do you think he could be responsible for any of this? I don't know, and I don't know what his intentions are, but we need to find out what's going on. My first thought was that the roommate has something to do with her parents' disappearance. However, there could be a plot twist, so I don't know yet. I guess we'll have to watch and see. Alright, yo, dude, this is a place. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Okay, are right, you ready? I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Of course you are. Let's go. He said, of course you are. I mean, like, honestly, who wouldn't be nervous in this situation? You're going into this random person's house who says there's another crazy random person in their house. We're off to a pretty rocky start. All right, let's knock. Do it, sir. Sir. Hi. Hi. Mariah, right? Hi, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Parker, life of luxury. Okay, can we come in and talk for a little bit? Sure. Okay, all right. Poor Mariah looks terrified. You can tell she does not feel safe in her own home. So I think it is good that they're there to deal with the situation, even though, again, they should have called 911. Please, uh, it's a little interesting. Did you put all these sheets up? No, my roommate did. Okay, let's just sit down at the table. Okay, why is everything covered in like bed sheets and plastic wrap? It basically looks like someone's getting ready to move out. Okay, this is definitely weird now. Okay, Mariah, thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Yeah, sure, no problem. So can you tell me what it is about your roommate that's bothering you? He keeps trying to get me alone with him, inviting me to his room. I don't know why my parents left me with him. A lot of times he just says things that don't make any sense. So you've never actually been alone with this guy yet, right? Well, last night I locked my door and I'm glad I did because I heard him breathing outside my door and he was turning the doorknob trying to get in. And he keeps making food for me and if I don't eat it, he gets really angry. Why would he be doing something like that? So he's covering up the house with random stuff. He is breathing outside of her door while she's sleeping. And then he's making her eat weird food that she really doesn't want to eat. But if she doesn't, he gets mad. So clearly there's no way to win with this guy. So can you tell me more about your parents just disappearing? Okay, oh my god, there is something terribly wrong with her roommate. You guys see the way he's walking and the way he's holding his hands? Oh my god, that is insanely terrifying. I'm sorry, if that were my roommate, I would politely ask them to move out. Because what the hell, I am not dealing with all that. Mariah, are you hungry? No, I'm good. I think she's okay. Uh... Dude, are those worms? Yeah. 
Oh my god, there's literal worms falling out of his pants. What the hell is even going on in this video? I have no idea. What is he, like some sort of like worm creature or something? Why does he have so many worms on him? This is very bizarre. I have to admit, I'm stressed out right now. I need a moment. I've also seen him collecting my toenail clippings and dental floss from the garbage. Why? I don't know. I just really miss my mom and I'm alone. I'm scared. Okay, well, you don't need to worry about that now. I'm going to set up cameras in this house tonight to try to figure out what this guy is up to. Okay? Uh, can you show us the room that we'll be staying in? Okay. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. I don't even understand what the hell is going on. This man is collecting her toenail clippings and her used dental floss. I can't even describe to you how disgusting that sounds. And it really makes you think, what is this man doing with her toenail clippings and with her used dental floss? Like, what can you, what are you gonna do with that? Why do you even need that? Yo, watch those worms, dude. Oh, I stepped in one. This is it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Bro, that guy's some really weird. Are you sure you don't want to go talk to him? Do you want to go talk to him? No, not really. Okay, then let's just uh, let's just go set up the cameras. Okay. 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 Let's go. They both need to talk to him, but neither of them wants to talk to him. I can't blame you. I would not want to talk to that man myself. There's actual worms just falling off of him at any given moment. There's not a chance we're having a conversation. Unless that conversation is get the hell out of my house, which is what Mariah should have said from the very beginning. And now she's in this sticky situation with a worm man living in her freaking house. I cannot get over the worms. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a lot. All right, we need to set up some cameras in this place. So I have this one here to watch the hallway. Should be fine. Okay, so our roommate just went out back. We're gonna put the camera in his room really quickly. Yo, what's that? I don't know. I'm gonna put the camera right over here. Okay. Yo, what are these? He's got like, I don't know what these are. These look like teeth, bro. Whatever, just ignore it, let's go. Okay. Just ignore it? You're just gonna ignore pulled out teeth on the windowsill and random plastic limbs around the house? You guys, every time they put cameras around the house, I always get so scared because I know we're gonna see really scary stuff on there. Put this camera in Mariah's room. Hi, Mariah, can we just put a camera in your room real quick? Okay. Okay, thanks. Good. All right, just don't worry. Uh, we're gonna go to bed. Everything should be fine. Nothing's gonna happen. All right. Okay, let's go. Okay. Bro, I'm really freaked out about this. That girl wasn't even making any sense. Bro, let's just go to sleep, okay? Okay, so they're going to sleep, which is something that I couldn't even fathom doing in that house. But I guess they're already there, so they gotta sleep. How much you wanna bet the roommate is about to come out while they're sleeping and just start acting all weird and creepy? Why are you giggling? What, what, what is so funny? Stop, that's so scary. He's literally just sitting in the room completely alone, just laughing at nothing. Okay, okay, that's, that's not normal. That's something to be very concerned about. Tonight I eat as in like he's gonna eat food or he's gonna eat the roommate. Oh my god Oh my god. Okay, this is getting really scary and I have a feeling things are about to go down. So let's watch the camera. Maybe that's what it meant by tonight I'm gonna eat. Tonight I'm gonna eat the camera. I hope that's what he meant and he didn't mean the roommate because that would be a little bit of an issue. But either way, oh my god, that was really terrifying. I hate when things run at the camera. I hate jump scares. They just always stress me out.
Oh my god, okay, so I think he actually is eating all the cameras. I was joking, but I think I actually might have been right. This roommate or creature or whatever is truly eating all of their camera equipment. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yo, dude, huh? wake up. You hear that? What's up? Mariah screaming, bro. Let's go. Yo, where's it? Where's that noise coming from? It's in there. It's in there. When I heard Mariah screaming, it did not sound like Mariah. He was literally just mimicking her voice and they fell for it. But this is the first time I've ever seen them get fully trapped by one of these people. So this is a really intense situation. Yo, yo, we're trapped in here. Bro, we cannot be trapped in here. Dude, push is this the gate. Kind of setup or are we being targeted? I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. Dude, Push it's it! Like, it's on a track or something. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do, bro. Oh my god. Can we get out through the window? Bro, we can't jump that far. We can't jump that far. Dude, our camera got knocked down. Dude, you said the girl was in here. We followed the sound of her voice. What are you talking about? Bro, I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I, obviously we, we want to get out of here. They're really starting to freak out now because it's been a while since they've been in this room. They're fully trapped and they still don't know where Mariah is. Clearly this roommate had everything planned out already because the way he just went around and then lured them into Mariah's room, that is some shady stuff, man. Let's see if they're able to get out of here. I'm hoping they can. Maybe we could get out through this vent. How are you gonna fit through that vent, dude? Look at that. At least I'm trying. You're not trying anything. You can't get through that vent. Dude, what can we do? We're just trapped, bro. We're like prisoners. I don't think we're gonna make it out of here. I don't know what we're gonna do, dude. Hey! Oh my! Oh no! Get out! What are those maggots? Get out of here! Go out! No! Don't eat that! Don't eat that! He's trying to feed them maggots? That is so disgusting. I can't even describe. Oh my god. Comment down below if you would ever even try to eat maggots. I'm telling you right now, that is where I would have to tap out. That looks absolutely disgusting. Bro, if we don't get out of here, we're dead. I'm gonna ram it. Please. What happened to Mariah, dude? I don't know. What happened to her? I don't know. Drive, drive faster. I'm driving, I'm driving. Oh my god, okay, things got really intense near the end there. So basically, when this weird roommate creature tried to give them the maggot food, they just decided to ram through the fence and just escape. Which honestly, thank god they did that, because if they didn't try to escape themselves, they probably would have been trapped there forever. However, they still couldn't figure out what happened to Mariah. I wonder if Mariah was actually in on the entire plan, or if she was actually the victim of the roommate as well. Also, we still haven't found out what happened to the parents so comment down below what you guys think happened to Mariah's parents clearly something really terrible is going on in that house but anyway you guys that is it for today's video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye